We are back with American pop artist Perry Milo, and this is a juggling lesson. Just kidding. This is a free art lesson teaser for my 3D pop New York City Skyline diorama that will be a featured DVD that you could get very soon. Now, this is going to be an application hot glue lesson using beading hot glue and spray paint. So we're armed and dangerous. Parents, you might want to do the spray paint part for the kids. We have a finished Coke bottle right here. Uh, it's a beautiful um, retro glass Coke bottle, I think, that they brought back. And we have some silver spray paint. We have our one we're going to do right now sitting right here. We're going to spray this real quick. And uh, unlike me, you should be wearing a mask, but we're already done. Uh, we stepped out of there for a second to let the haze go by. Okay, now I went online and I printed out the Chrysler building, which is a uh, icon of the New York City skyline, because this is ultimately part of the skyline project, the, the Li Liberty New York City skyline diorama 3D project. So I love this that I printed online. And we're going to make this a little bit harder. We're going to back it with some spray mount. Yeah, it's, uh, this is not good in here, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I'm throwing that down on some canvas paper. You could use Bristol board. You could use cardboard, oak tag. It's going to give it a harder backing, okay? Now I'm going to go in with my X-Acto knife. Hey, let's use scissors this time because that'll be better for the kids show you how easy we could do this. If you drag your scissor, look at that, you can cut right up to where you want. Seamstresses uh, do this with their scissor. I'm getting off all the excess first. So this is really a uh, application free lesson on some tools of the trade. Okay, scraps, goodbye. All right, now I'm going to go in here and cut this, cut this out for you. I do have a Mac cutter and I do want to use that. So I'm going to get rid of this. Goodbye to that. Now, I'm using my knife. I like to be a little more precise than scissors. So I'm using my knife. And I'm getting rid of the trees or whatever. I just want the building because we're going to adhere this uh, very coolly to the silver painted Coke bottle. The reason we painted it silver is because the iconic Chrysler building has a lot of chrome on it. If you ever seen the gargoyles at the top, they're really amazing. So I'm cutting this off, going around. You know, be sure when you use an X-Acto knife, be very careful. I have been doing this for many, many years, so I make it look very easy. It's not as easy as it looks. I'm cutting out the beautiful spires of the Chrysler building. I'm coming up to the top spire and I'm almost done. Just like that, I'm finished. So now we're going to let that one dry. We're going to use one we already have. You can see that when I position this on here, that's going to look pretty cool. Now you're asking, how's that going to stay on there? Well, it's just not going to stay on there with glue. It's going to stay on there with a foam core backing. So we have a little piece of foam core. It's quarter inch. This is what Red Grooms, Charles Fazzino got very famous for. I cut its scale so it will fit right on there. I have my little uh, hot glue gun, which is perfect for you, set. I'm putting a little glue on there, little beads, keeping it nice and clean. Right up to the bottom, okay, that'll set pretty quickly. I'm putting glue on the back. Now the, the bottle's metal, so this is, uh, I believe, going to conduct. And I got to do it so I can see it first. You're looking at the back of it. You got to really let hot glue set nicely. Hold it on there pretty good. And you can see that, that creates a nice little look. Let's trim that off. Hey, that's pretty cool. Okay, now, this is an interesting area because this sticks out. So I want to do something to accentuate this and make this come down so your eye follows that line down. And I have a uh, some really cool application. I just love all this fun stuff that uh, you can easily get at a local craft store. 
And again, this is just going to be one element of our really exciting diorama DVD for your kids. So I'm going to lay some, some more beads. One, two, three, four. They're almost like buttons. I usually use tweezers to pick these up. Ah, here they are. Wow. There you go. One. A yellow one. How about a star? A star. Uh, what, whose turn is it? How about a blue one? Glue dries fast, but you can always reapply it. Okay. I clean up the, uh, the pieces in between. And you really want to have some fun? Let's bust out some glitter. Now, we got to keep this bottle still. So, I'm going to put a couple things in between it. There we go. Where's my glue? Here it is. Put some glitter on the spire. That'll look great. Let's put something underneath of it so we can save our glitter. And we have this really cool blue glitter. That's it for that. That'll dry quickly. There you go. There's one of the steps, one of the teaser steps, the Chrysler building made out of a, a original Coke bottle. And this will be part of the diorama that will be featured in the DVD of the 3D New York City uh, skyline. This is Perry Milo, perrymilo.com. Check out my free art videos. Check out my DVDs. Have a great day.